This is our first open up drill. It's designed to get us to feel how that front hip is really gonna get as far open as we can get it while that front shoulder is still gonna stay closed. Uh, it's a bit of an exaggeration, although if guys landed like this and did it pretty naturally, we wouldn't take this away. Uh, Josh Donaldson does a tremendous job of, of getting to this spot as an example. So as we look on the right, here's how we start the drill. We just take that normal swing and land where we naturally would. And then we're just going to continue to sort of force that front hip open. You can see him work his foot open. Trying to get settled in. And then he's actually, just to feel it, he's going to push that hip open and feel that separation and get that as far open as he can from the front angle, then get his hands back in a good spot, okay? So you see it from the front, right? That whole front side is open. What's important to look at too here, if I can draw the right angle, is that really he's going to land heel to heel, right? Pretty close to heel to heel. So he's not trying to step, uh, quote unquote, in the, in the bucket, right? He still wants to step with very good direction towards the pitcher. We just want to make sure that the hip is going to clear open to get there. Then from there, we just go ahead and take his swing. Kind of has to force his backside through, but hits that ball pretty well. Okay, now what you see over here on the left side is that uh, this hitter is already down in his position, so you can watch it from this side. He's trying to stay back the best that he can. Hands are in a good spot, setting that position. And he just stays right through. Okay, so it's a good way to feel that whole hip get open and create that torque, some separation between the front shoulder and the front hip.